park bench. She came on about a year ago. They've since like quadrupled, right? Going from uh, going from 70 grand in MR to almost 628,000 in monthly recurring revenue. Churns come down as well to 2.75 per month. They did 1.9 million last year, 6.3 ideally this year. A thousand real estate customers who they are crowning the digital mayors of their city with their lead generation tool. 90% gross margin paying about 676 bucks to acquire a customer that's worth 13 grand to them with their team of 30 up in Toronto. Amanda. This is the top where I interview entrepreneurs who are number one or number two in their industry in terms of revenue or customer base. You'll learn how much revenue they're making, what their marketing funnel looks like, and how many customers they have. I'm now at $20,000 per top. Five and six million. He is hell bent on global domination. We just broke our 100,000 unit sold mark. And I'm your host, Nathan Latka. This is episode 742. Coming up tomorrow morning, we Bo, the founder of Privacy.com, joins us. And the question is, will this 28-year-old founder replace credit cards? Tune in to find out. Hello, everyone. My guest today is Amanda Newman. She, when she was 26, she became a realtor planning to specialize in Liberty Village, Toronto. She created a local website for the neighborhood she lived in uh, for, for really to get a one-stop shop for local deals, events, and news. Quickly, other realtors wanted what she had, and she realized that the technology she created could easily be duplicated all across North America. Park Bench, the name of the company, has grown from a single marketing idea into a multi-million dollar company with 27 employees and is growing at a rapid pace. Amanda, are you ready to take us to the top? Yes, I am. Very Hello. cool. Hello. Thanks for joining. So last time I had you on, it was January, February, March, April. It was May of 2016. At that time, you had about 500,000 bucks raised. You had 10 customers that were paying on average 2,500 bucks per month. So you were doing about 25 no. grand. That's okay. not us. That's uh, this. Yeah, no, this is what you told me. This is right out of your right out of your interview. You were doing about 25 grand in MRR. Is that not right? No, back then we were doing about 80 and our we sell up front uh, on average for about $4,500. Okay. Well, uh, did you have multiple components of the business? Like this might have been just your SaaS component. What were you, what were you selling up front? So we build neighborhood focused websites for real estate agents yep. and we sell the entire package up front for around on average $4,500 for the whole year. Okay. Um, I will go back and listen to what you said. Most of this data is, is actually taken directly from your voice. So maybe there was uh, something special there, but it, this is, I'm just giving historical context. So we can update all this in a second, right? So okay. to, yeah, okay. about 10 customers, 500,000 bucks raised. Um, you, no, you, we've never raised money. You did not raise money. No, we might have to. Wait, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I know what I did here. I know what I did here. You are right next to Amanda Parker. <laughs> And you are exactly right. Amanda I'm Newman. Bench. That was my, yes, that's why I got confused. You are totally right. Amanda Newman. So you guys were at 215 customers, right? Yes. Your 2015 revenue was about 880 grand. Yes. You had raised 125,000 bucks. You had about, each customer was paying about 350 bucks a month. You're doing about 70 grand in monthly recurring revenue. 5% yes. churn, $400 CAC based up there in Toronto, LTV of 20 months, $7,000 LTV in terms of dollars, eight people on your team. Is that all right? That's all correct. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> founded in 2014. So update us. Where is the business today? And why don't you start by telling everyone who's new what your company does? Okay. So we build neighborhood websites and we have a technology that aggregates the local content. So the events, the deals, the news, and we sell the exclusive rights to those neighborhood sites to one real estate, real estate agent per neighborhood. Then we teach them how to use that neighborhood website in order to go out into the community, interview local businesses, teachers, professionals, and feature their articles on that neighborhood site. So they're adding a ton of value to the community and they're also building lots of relationships as they go. So they can become a connector in the community. Yep. They can, you know, they'll know the plumber, they know the roofer, they can connect everyone with their clients. Which is the key, right, for deal flow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cool. tell us uh, where you're at today in terms of total customers. Uh, today we have about over 1,000. That's amazing. So you 4 uh, you were at 215, I think, last time we spoke. Yeah. So when we got back from 500 startups, so last time we spoke, I was actually in Silicon Valley. Um, and we got back from there. They pushed us to take their money. So we took their $125,000 and they made us go and invest in growth. Because I, I remember last time we, we spoke, when we invest money, we make it back very quickly, almost instantly. Mm -hmm. So we took that money. We invested a ton on uh, Facebook advertising, taught myself how to do a lot of digital marketing. And we used one of the companies that was on here as well, Ad Espresso. Yep. So um, we did a lot of digital marketing to acquire leads 
So realtors, we now, we get about 60 to 100 realtors a day contacting us, um, wanting to be the digital mayor of their neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and to give you an update, we got a 3,000 square foot office. Uh, there's now 30 employees. Um, last month was May. We did $628,000 in revenue. Okay, very congratulations. That's exciting. Thank you. Yeah, we just celebrated this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was our biggest month by far. Well, yeah, because that just, I guess, today's June 1st. So, yeah, that just wrapped up. So, 628000 bucks. Now, is that all monthly or occurring, or is there professional services mixed into that? So that's just our entire revenue. So last month we sold about 150 realtors. Uh, they paid us up front for that. And then now they have a 12 month term. Got it. What are they paying up front on average? About 4,500 to 5,000. Okay. So, so if they're paying 5,000 bucks for the right to have, be the digital mayor of your site you've created for a year. Yes. yes. You got it. Um, the other cool thing is that we now have a, a 2.75 monthly churn. So okay. a lot of our clients, more, a lot more of our clients are staying with us. Mm -hmm. um, you said 2.75? 2.75 monthly churn. Yep. Um, that's about, I think, 65, 70% um, renewal rate. Yep. Oh, you're talking, so each year, right, you've got about, call it 70, 60, 70% of people renewing as the digital mayor. Yeah, yeah. That's so they're, great. They're continuing with their sites, which is amazing for a, a company that charges, you know, four to six thousand dollars a year. And they have to pay um, annually, right? They can't pay monthly. So yeah, when you yeah, say last month you did six hundred twenty thousand bucks, you had about one hundred twenty six renewals at about five grand between forty five hundred and five grand, right? One hundred twenty six new customers. New customers, yeah. So not like some a little bit of it was renewal, um, uh -huh. but the majority of it was brand new customers coming on board. Okay, well, with the churn and retention you just said, sixty percent of those should have been renewal, right? Uh, so because they haven't gone through their entire year cycle yet, right? So uh, some of them had come on months and months in advance or months before last year like, like well that's what i'm asking kind of yeah, yeah that's what i'm asking the 628 grand so th i think this will help it cl clear it up the 628 grand if you sold one five thousand dollar plan last month is that whole five yes. grand included in the 628 yes okay got it so when i take 628 thousand divided by five thousand yes right your average plan it comes out to 126 customers okay yes and what I was trying to figure out was of the 126, how many how were many new were versus how many renewal? Yes. It about, was so, it about 60% renewal? 60% renewals now, yeah. Got it. So call it like 75 of those folks were renewal and you got about 50 yes. of them were new. Okay, yes, yeah. That's great, yeah. So that look, what I, I love about this model is like you don't, I imagine, I mean, what are you spending on CAC now? Uh, okay, so it's about $650. I wrote these down because I knew you would ask. You knew I would ask. And by the way, have you ever been on a show like this? It's the best, right? <laughs> That's the best. I, love it. I was excited. So our uh, cost to acquire is about $650. Um, and let me just pull it up here. I love it when they come prepared. This is great. <laughs> I've, I've heard you chew some people out when they're not prepared, so I didn't want to be one of them. <laughs> So that's about six hundred and fifty dollars to to acquire a customer, and I have all your numbers. What else? What else do you need? Give me what you have. Uh, let's see. Um, I have it right here. I said I was prepared. You got I it. Actually... This is great. <laughs> Just to summarize while you're looking that up, so again, $650 CAC on a $5,000 upfront payment. They're recovering that immediately, which is great. Six hundred twenty-eight grand last month in revenue, uh, doubled their employees. They're up to about 30 people now uh, up there in Toronto. So, uh, and if the customers, they've three or four X up to 1,000. Yep. Okay. So ready? Yep. Our, our CAC is 676. Uh, okay. And our lifetime value of a customer is... Four thousand five. Oh no, sorry. Our lifetime, because our lifetime value. I know you're gonna ask. Is thirteen thousand one hundred and sixty-three. So you assume about a three-year life. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Um, interesting. So okay, good. So so thirteen thousand bucks lifetime value. So, so that's here, all we know right now because yeah. we've only been in business for three years. Yeah, you're know. taking one divided by churn, right, and getting a, an annual thing and then doing it that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's not smart. Um, that's how most people do it. Can, sometimes I can lie to you, but that's generally the yeah. best way to do it. Um, so here's my question to you, right? Like you could be, I mean, what's stopping you from growing faster? You have the cash gap problem solved because you get paid yeah. back immediately. Like why not? Can you spend more money? Or you just don't know where to spend it. 
at this point, we don't know where to spend it. So we're doing a lot of Facebook advertising. Um, when the leads come in, we've kind of capped out at how many leads we can get a day. Why? Um, just, I guess, the Facebook algorithms. The uh, you can only put your your ads in front of so many realtors a day, and you, it's you can't just go from sixty five thousand dollar a month ad spend to you know two hundred thousand and get double the leads. It'll cost. It starts to get a lot more expensive per lead, um, less quality. They start seeing your ads way too many times. Yep. So we have to be like more strategic with the ad spend. So what we've done right now is we're investing more in content. Oh, so we want a lot more organic. Um, organic traffic looking at what we have and then going to our landing pages and filling out the, the forms for us to call. So that's what we're investing in now. And what is the, um, so what are you spending? Is that the right number? 65 grand per month in ad spend? Uh, on ad spend, yeah. Yep. On Interesting. Facebook. Interesting. Um, cool. And then what about capital raised? Still the we, same? Just the just 125 from, from 500. And so, I mean, you did this a while ago. You're either like selling to somebody right now or you're about to close a big round. Which one is it? None. Come on, Amanda. I don't believe you. That's... We've either. We're just growing our business. So let me let me ask you a question. Right? I'm going to ask you to be like a mean capitalist for a second, right? As you think about building like your own personal wealth, like you work hard for this, right? It's okay to think about yeah. this. How do you think about how to like you pay yourself a salary, I assume, but like how do you figure out what to take from the business versus like should I go raise or should I sell? Like how do you think about personal wealth creation? I mean, the way that I think about it right now is just being happy. So at this point, I can pay, I can pay myself whatever I want. I can buy whatever I want. I can basically do whatever I want and I'm happy with it. And I don't have to raise money. I don't have to sell the company. And at the same time, I love the people who I work with. So we've yeah. created a really tight dynamic. We're all family here. We hang out with the, with all of our employees after work on weekends, we take them on yachts. We just, we do a lot of things that if I was to sell my company for a hundred million dollars, I would do those things. Yeah. So I feel like I'm, I've built a business in a way that we make money. Uh, we have a product that is really, that helps people. Um, and I'm just, we're, we're just kind of living the way that we would anyway. So what are you guys at right now in terms of gross margin? Um, I have a number for you as well. <laughs> our gross margin. Uh, so our gross margin is over 90%. Yeah. I, I was, I was thinking it was going to be very high. And I imagine the costs you put above that are really just like server expenses, merchant processing fees, Ex things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, interesting. Well, so if someone came to you and said, Hey, Amanda, we want to put, I'm making this up $2 million in the company, uh, at, you know, I'm going to also make this up at a six, six, 10, six at a $30 million pre-money valuation, right? Do you take a deal like that? Uh, it would have to depend on the person who who's so strategic. It. If it was super strategic, let's Keller say Williams. Uh, so yeah, so if they, I was just gonna say Keller Williams. Yeah. So if it was Gary Keller said to us, "Hey, I'm gonna give you X amount of dollars for percentage," I would I would take that because I want to have more access to real estate agents, yeah. and I want to be able because the fact is, the more realtors who know what we do, the more buy it. Yeah. So someone like that putting their stamp of approval on it, saying that I love what this company is doing, um, I, I would. Take that. Have you looked at expense? So, like, there is a finite market here. There's only so many cities that you can have a digital mayor of. Now, it's a huge number, obviously, if you look at the whole world. But have you looked at building out other kinds of software for real estate agents now that you kind of own a large chunk of them? Yes. So, um, good question. And we have because it's kind of like a funnel. So, what we now have. Um, about over a thousand realtors who like our product and they trust us. Uh, we have really great account managers that actually work with our clients every day if they need to. So our customer support and our coaching is one of the, the best things about our product. So we now have the ability to up upsell or offer more products. So we are starting to offer things that, that real estate agents need so they can have all of their, their marketing in one place. So we yeah. can, if they want lead generation, we know how to do lead generation. So we've started another kind of like subsidiary where we can do the lead generation for them. We can do Facebook marketing. We can do the website design and stuff like that. Um, we, we call it baller marketing, become a local leader. Uh, I love it. You <laughs> so guys are very, you guys are a very hip, cool brand. What do your parents think about this? <laughs> my, my parents are entrepreneurs from, from the beginning. So they're all on board. What's your mom do? So right now, so my mom and my dad, they sold a company about 20 years ago. It was a, um, a water bottling company. Then they started investing in real estate. So they have commercial real estate buildings that they just manage. That's great. Have you started investing like personally in the commercial stuff or the residential stuff or? 
Good question. So we, we were talking about that. Great. It's one of our, our things that we're talking about now is do we take our profits and invest in real estate or do we just go all in and say, let's just take what we have and just continue to, to invest in Park Bench, you know, open an office in Australia or go to the UK and open an office because at this point, our best return is investing yep. in our, ourselves. Yep. The only so. thing, I mean, I, de I battle this question for like all the time. And the only reason I ever take money out of the business is just to diversify because yeah. the best return, if I'm only comparing like IRR returns, it's in myself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why we, we actually were talking about this yesterday. My dad was in was in Toronto. So my dad actually lives in Kenya. He has a foundation over there. Uh -huh. So he lives, he was in for the day stopping over to go um, to his other house and foundation in Mexico. My dad's a very interesting human. <laughs> <laughs> so because he's like the real estate guy. You got, um, I, should have, I should have him on. We'll talk about real estate. You should absolutely have him yeah. on. He's probably one of the most interesting guys you've ever met he just came back from a monastery this is a side note so i saw him yesterday he looked he was dressed like a monk in toronto <laughs> walking down the street i was like that's amazing Dad, we're in toronto now that's amazing no i would um, love to have him on what's your mom and does your mom do the real estate stuff too yeah so my mom so he, uh they both do it together so they were just like basically at this point there's collect checks from do, you, do you have brothers and sisters i have a brother what's yeah. he do so he's older than me, but he he's an academic. So he's just been in school his entire life, and now he just Is he jealous of you? No, no. Me and him are really good friends. Would you ever hire him? Uh, maybe. Would yeah. he ever work for you? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Amanda. Good stuff here. A great story here. I'm have to have you on in another 12 months and get another update. Many of you listening right now don't have time to listen to every B2B SaaS CEO that I've interviewed. If you want to get access to the database I've created with year-over-year -year growth rates, customer accounts, margins, and many, many other data uh, metrics and data points, you can go to getlatka.com. Here's the thing, though. This that database, I keep it to myself. It's so freaking valuable. And to preserve the quality of the data and make sure that the people that have access to it have a true advantage, I'm only letting 10 companies on each month. So we're full this month, but you can go to getlatka.com to get on the waiting list for next month. And look, there's big people on the waiting list. I mean, the biggest VCs you've ever heard of. You've probably heard of them. They're big, private equity, billions and billions under management. So it's an impressive waiting list. Go get on now at getlatka.com. Okay, Top Tribe, I have to tell you, many people go, Nathan, you came out of nowhere, your website's growing so fast, how'd you do it? The answer is simple. So I use HostGator, I don't know if you guys know that, but I use HostGator, and the reason I do, they have like about 4,500 free templates I can use, because I don't code. They've got a great e-commerce plugin, and guys, I bug the heck out of their support. They've got 24-7 support, which I love. So what I've done is I've worked with them. You guys know I make great deals. If you go to hostgator.com forward slash Nathan, you can sign up, get your own domain for 30% off and a 45-day money-back guarantee. Okay, again, I make great deals for you guys. Go to hostgator.com forward slash Nathan to grab that now. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite right. business book? All right. So I honestly don't read that much. That's okay. So my, what I am. So I, when I do see books, I download them and then I read like a couple pages and then I, I stop. What's the last so one you I downloaded? Just, uh, what's it called? Let me show you. I think it's called dot com secrets. Yep. Russell Brunson. Yeah. Dot com secrets. It's about funnels and it's, it's, it's starting to be good and I'm sure I won't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, so only one and i really don't follow or look, really even look at anyone else but gary vaynerchuk mm. i'm actually wearing his sweater says hustle oh, that's so funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i follow him because he what he is doing is he's documenting everything that he does and the funny thing is so we just hired a videographer to follow us around 24 hours a day so we're documenting everything inside the office 24 hours it's a, a great day. content that's strategy so yeah, and it comes out every Friday. It's called behind.parkbench.com. Oh, I love that. We'll have to put that in the show notes. And then in a year from now, we're going to have like a documentary about, it's called Journey to a Billion. So I love that. Our goal is to get to a billion. I love that. Number three, what's your favorite <laughs> online tool like HostGator? Um, I would say DocuSign because when I see DocuSigns come back, it means that we've just made money. Yeah, that's good. Number It's <laughs> <laughs> a good reason. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh seven to nine okay it's pretty good and what's your current situation married single you have kids i have a fiance and we started the company together and he's right over there oh my gosh that's amazing you guys work together oh yeah we started the company together we how do you not like kill each day. other 
everyone asks us that and I honestly think the reason we're so successful in a short period of time is because we are together 24 hours a day there's no turning off when people are sleeping we're working do you guys do you guys ever like flirt in the office um sort of but no like it's, it's like do you, really do you like, actively like turn it off it's eight o'clock yes. between eight and six no flirting don't wink at me like nothing <laughs> Yeah, like I act, I'm actively like I'm like don't. Uh, that's this. funny. Okay, uh, so no kiddos yet. And do you mind asking uh, me asking how old you are? I'm 30. Okay, so last question. Take us back 10 years. What do you wish your 20 year old self knew? Um, I would say to to start writing down my goals because as soon as I started actually thinking of my goals and writing them down, I started getting what I wanted. And I never really did that when I was 20. I was just kind of all over the place. Um, but as soon as I started actually focusing, I, it's like the you know law of attraction. I learned the law of attraction and then it all started to work out. Oh, I love that. Hey, before I wrap up, I forgot to ask this. Last year, total revenue. Last year was 1.9. And the year before that was what? Um, eight, 840. 840, good. And what do you think you'll do this year? Uh, 6.3. You're pretty confident in that. Yeah, if not more. You're on track? Yeah, we're, oh, we're, well, we're well on track, yeah. Okay, good. Like, that's our current run rate right now would be, would be uh, 6.4. Yeah, yeah. 6.3, yeah. Very cool. There you guys have it from Amanda Newman of Park Bench. She came on about a year ago. They've since, like, quadrupled right going from uh going from 70 grand in mr to almost 628,000 in monthly recurring revenue churns come down as well to 2.75 per month they did 1.9 million last year 6.3 ideally this year a thousand real estate customers who they are crowning the digital mayors of their city with their lead generation tool 90 percent gross margin paying about 676 bucks to acquire a customer that's worth 13 grand to them with their team of 30 up in toronto amanda thank you for taking us to the top thank you if you enjoyed amanda of today, go back and listen to Todd yesterday. He tells us how he sold his first company for $15 million and why and how he's tackling it, the healthcare patient doctor relationship in his new startup.